All right, guys, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> I just figured I'd do a quick video on uh, some big truck, semi truck uh, keyword. I'll keyword a bunch of things at the end to, to get everybody to recognize this video. Um, uh, not a lot out there on the uh, interweb on uh, disc brakes, so uh, I thought I'd do my uh, put my two cents in. I'm gonna do the Tackle the brakes, we're just going to redo the pads, uh, rotors are in good shape, and um, I want to quick uh, set a uh, video up for you. Uh, we're going to be using uh, BX276 by Bendix, uh, we got them locally at, uh, you know, shout out to Fleet Pride, um, you know, for doing anything to help us take care of our rigs. Um, first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back the uh, caliper, uh, pucks, cups, uh, back so that you can slip the new pad in. Um, these are down to about 25-30%. Uh, we're at the start of the season, so we're going to rehab this and, uh, and put it new for the season. Um, first things first, there's a uh, dust cover, a uh, pad back there. I'm going to take a little screwdriver and uh, pop that pad off, uh, that cup off. I'll show you how that comes out. It's right here behind uh, on, on uh, you know both sides of the truck. They're uh, We've got a tab on them, you can put your finger on them, you pull them out, and they uh, kind of look like this, just a uh, little dust cover, uh, has to go back on there. And um, they'll give you a, uh, the guy before me was kind enough to leave the uh, adjusting screw mechanism in there. And what it is, guys, is it's, uh, you can't, can't, they want you to over tighten them. Um, there's a uh, knurled uh, thread inside, and then, you know, your 10 millimeter, uh, not on the back side and that fits on a spline and uh, if you over tighten it it's going to snap off and then you got a little work to get that little piece out of there but um, you know for the most part just like a regular slack adjuster you're going to back it off until you hear the uh, you know the, the clicking um, first couple turns are going to be uh, intricate in um, how you need to get it done um, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter here and just uh, it'll you'll hear it click off just like uh, a regular slack adjuster jumping uh, the teeth and then you can begin to see um, the, uh, the caliper piston cups move they'll look rusty um, you know eventually when we get the pads out here quick I'll uh, what I'll do is um, I'll uh, swing that caliper in and out and that'll just let you know that the calipers still got you know grease on its uh, the rods that uh, you know help it center itself when you apply the brakes a couple more here and we'll get these back far enough you can go all the way back till you bury the piston cup inside the caliper but um, it's not necessary the new brakes and the pads and you know, the design is, um, they're, the new ones I'll show you in a second here, they're pretty thick. And what they'll do is, um, you don't need all that room <laughs> to, uh, you know, back the, the cups in. And what happens is, what will happen is you get back into some new material or rusty material and then you'll snap this adjuster off because it's fighting itself to, to get home, you know. Makes me think of a Happy Gilmore skit where he goes, the ball wants to get home. Go to your home. Get in the hole. So we're almost there. I'm, uh, I'm seeing the rubbers collapse, and you know you can kind of see where we're at. I'll, I'll put the wrench in there. So that no close-ups today. It's just kind of far away. A little social distancing with the camera. But I think uh, we're almost there. And that's that's the biggest part of it right now. So it's, it's, it's just clicking off. So the the original the, the the piston cup was was out here up against the pad. And now it's uh, it's all the way home. So you can begin to see the uh, the caliper wants to move on its spline and loosen everything up. Okay. Next thing, quick, we'll uh, we'll pop out the retaining pin. So we're gonna rotate this around. Give it a little love tap. Move it over. Before you get yourself a set of pliers, and I'll, uh, I'll I'll show you a list of all the tools that we use so that we're not you know fooling into each other that this is a you know a brake shop by any means. We're just going to rotate that clip around and I'm going to show you that clip too so you understand what we're trying to dig out. So this is the clip that's in that pin right now and that's the new one that's going to go back. 
Okay, if that helps. That's what's buried here in this uh, original equipment, or you know, one would think it's original equipment. So we're just going to pull it out, try to get that clip out. I think it's a, it's a softer metal. It'll it'll come with a little like that. Just garbage. You really can't uh, retain it. So. There's a, looks like a quarter inch flat washer on the outside, pretty simple. Just going to tap that off, we'll go that back and forth to get it off. It's rusty, got brake dust, they give you a new one in a package, and then you give this a little tap, and you start backing that pin out, and uh, nothing's going to jump out at you. There's a little bit of spring pressure on these up on top of the, pit, uh, on top of the uh, pad, but for the most part, you're just pulling that pin out. Uh, there's a retaining uh, strap that goes over the top of the brake pads. And uh, these should come out relatively easy because they've been wore in. The new ones, uh, I'll show you when we put those back in quick, um, are going to be difficult or different than you might think. But uh, you can see the wear that we had on them. Um, you're down to, I, I, I think the number is 20% where, where you, you uh, lose that indicator, but I'm not sure. Quote me on that. And we'll get rid of that one. Like I said, the biggest thing, guys, is you want to make sure that caliper rocks back and forth, okay? So it's greased on its, its, uh, on its, uh, you know, sliding axis pins. Now you get the new pads out. What you're gonna have to do is install that spring clip on the top, okay? Um, I would imagine quick manufacturing process, whatever it's gonna take to get these back together. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna drop back and do somebody a favor and get some safety glasses on. go. I know, I know we should have started with them to begin with, but right now uh, these things will jump out at you, so that's kind of why I want to make sure that we got uh, we got everything we need here. So you can start on one side, you push on one side guys, and uh, I'll try to do it up here, it's a little, little tough, but not as strong as they used to be. You push down, try to keep it centered over to the top of that next hole, and she's just going to clip right in. So in essence, you uh, had something that had a little bit of a semicircle, and now you're flattening it down a little bit, okay? So we're just going to set this one right up here because they're going to go in tight. Um, new is nice. New is new. And uh, we'll grab the other one. Grab our next uh, spring. We'll do the exact same thing. You saw that, and we'll show you how easy this next one is, too. Okay, so you grab it on one side and just push it straight across with a little bit of pressure and try to line it up so that it doesn't jump out at you. Okay? You're going to turn around, you're going to pull this a little bit tight so that you get that locked in like that. And then little love tap with little uh, three pound. Okay, back and forth. It's a bench, I mean, it's such a tight fit. You can just you can hammer on it on one side, it's going to continue to go home. I, I just kind of want to work it in. I'll get some of that rust freed up. That'll get a little bit of, uh, keep everything moving, keep everything back and forth. That way when you do make your final adjustment, you're not, you know, you're not rocking against, uh, uh, you know, the pad where you, you locked it up, okay? Get it close and then uh, any, kind of, any kind of help you could use. I'm just going to lay the bar across the top of it, give it a few more taps just to let it sit home. You see it round off at the top of that... Uh, uh, rotor. If there is anything, guys, on the outside of that rotor that you know buggers up, or you guys don't, you're not happy with, just take a little bit of a grinding wheel and and uh, and uh, clean it back. That'll get it to sit home so that that rotor still rolls. Okay. And do the same thing with the back side. Just stay away from hitting that clip because once it, it's a spring clip, you know it's got forged that way. So if you hit it, and it it. it uh, it pops off of there, it's going to be a bugger to get it back on, you know? Okay, so now we're just going to give it a little bit of a love tap on the end here. Get it to run home. And we are good. Everything is free and easy. And our caliper is moving back and forth, okay? So now we're going to put an adjustment on it. We'll bring that wrench back. And we will bring the... Uh, um, we'll bring the uh, caliper 
pucks back out to the face of the uh, thing. In the meantime, we have some new hardware we're going to finish up. Um, this one's kind of tough, but uh, it's going to re rest in like this, and it's going to go right over the top of it and bring it right down on top of the uh, right down on top of the um, caliper. Okay. Let's bring that back down. We're doing this in real time, guys, so, you know, if you uh, see something, say something. You know what I mean? It's, uh... There we go. Put that clip on. And then I had a couple of tricks for this, guys. It was, uh, you know, a matter of closing this back down and, and, um, and, and getting her to come back down on top of uh, here so that we can put the pinhole. And uh, it should be relatively easy. Um, there's two ways this can go. You want to put it on the right way. You're going to push this home. And uh, I did it with a pair of pliers um, on, a, on a couple of them. I'm sure <laughs> Snap-on or somebody would make a tool for that. But uh, I'm going to show you, you know, shade, shade tree stuff where we're just going to pick it, put it home. And then um, I'm going to run a little... Uh, I'm going to run a little punch in on one side just to hold it there. Like so. And then I can work it back and forth so that when the new pin goes across, um, it'll, uh, it'll run home. Of what I thought about doing this video for, this was going to be the biggest bugger, but uh, we'll get it. I'm going to give it a little tap here with the three pound. You can, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can round the pin off. You can put the old pin with, you know, uh, a little bit of a die grind to it. Um, it's all machine surface, so once you get it started, it's going to go home. And uh, you just want to make sure that when you put that pin in, or the, uh, the um, clevis, the uh, Jesus clip, uh, there's, a, there's a, probably a word for it, a name for it. Um, and that you're going to put your clip back on and make sure that you got that quarter inch washer going on the face of it, okay? Because that gives you just enough tolerance to slide this clip in. Um, I'm going to turn it just a hair so that it goes straight up and down like you guys can see. And uh, and then we can wrap this up. I'll adjust that brake so you understand what we're trying to get done. Okay? Just put your finger on a little bit. Give it a little, little bit of a tap. Actually, here. It'll go in with just... Uh, hand pressure, okay? And then uh, center everything up. I like to look at everything, make sure that everything is square, everything's working, not a lot of, you know, craziness. The, the shoes, the pads have set, they're in their seat, they're ready to go, they're ready to be adjusted, and then we'll put a little adjustment on that back and bring those uh, pucks in from that cal caliper. And now this isn't going to click because this, you're going to, the, you're, you're, you're making your adjustment and you're tightening everything, okay? There we go. A little bit more of an adjustment, and I think we're good. Okay? We've adjusted the brakes now. We're everything touching. We're, our pucks are out up against the pad, and uh, this is pretty much it, guys. This is a semi truck Volvo VNL 2014, uh, 13 2 front end. I uh, gave you the Bendix part number of a BX276. For us locally, uh, end of uh, 2023, you're talking around $250 per axle per set. Comes uh, two two sets of pads for both for one axle in one box. Okay, so I required three axles on a tandem uh, triaxle, you know, uh, twin screw tractor. Okay, um, all the pads are the same front and back. Um, what else can I say? Uh, what you see is what it took uh, per axle. Um, you're going to refine that. You can you can set these in. Um, the adjustments are there. And uh, good luck, guys. Stay safe, and I hope you enjoyed our little piece. Thanks, man.